After playing Mortal Kombat 1 for more than a few hours with the four characters, three cameos, and two stages we were given for the Mortal Kombat 1 stress test, here is what you need to expect when going in and playing Kenshi. Take it one step at a time. Kenji is a fan favorite and he's a great character, especially Mortal Kombat 1 and we were all so excited to see him back in the Mortal Kombat franchise, but how does he play, how does he feel, what can you expect when playing Kenji? I'll tell you right now, he is a bit more complex than you might think or, or you might want. We're kind of used to Kenji, you know, being Kenji. We have his specter, his ghost form, whatever you want to call it, being part of his moveset, his special moves and even his fatalities and stuff, but here's the difference between past Kenshi in Mortal Kombat 1 Kenshi. Kenshi in Mortal Kombat 1 is kind of considered a stance character, meaning he really relies on bringing out his specter form known as Sento, and when Sento is out doing your down back square move, he's kind of on the field with you, and you can control him kind of like Zato in Guilty Gear or, you know, Rosa Luna from freaking Super Smash Brothers. He's another fighter on the screen, and not only that, when he's out, you can do different combos and your special moves change, and so do your air Aerial combos, but everything changes when you have Sento out. So you're kind of learning two characters. You're kind of learning Kenshi without Sento and then Kenshi with Sento. And then how to intermix the two and how do you bring them out? How do you take them back? Like what, what can you do when Sento's out? There's a lot of complexity to Kenshi in Mortal Kombat 1. I'm not gonna lie to you, he's not for the faint of heart. He's gonna be a character that you're probably gonna have to take into training mode for more than a couple hours just to figure out, okay, how does Kenshi work? And then once you really get the hang of Kenshi and even using Sento out, how do you use this character with cameo fighters? So now I have these combos, great, but now what can I do with the cameo fighters? Like, and not only that, but there's like what, 16, 18 freaking cameo fighters? So how do you use Kenshi with one, two, three, four, five different cameo fighters? How do they change Kenshi's gameplay? There's a lot at play here, not just by himself, but you involve the cameo fighters. Oh my gosh, there's so many layers to this character. Kenshi's not as straightforward as some other characters might be or as straightforward as Kenshi has been in the past. This stance, this kind of thing out with Sento really changes Kenshi and really makes you work towards it because Sento offers a lot on the field and essentially allows you to do a lot more when it comes to combos, damage, whatever it may be. Sento offers a lot more when he's out, so you really want to play the game with him out, which then kind of raises the skill ceiling when playing Kenshi. Like, I think a beginner could pick him up and have fun, sure, but honestly, like I said, you're going to have to take a couple hours of training and really try to master Kenshi. He's a lot of fun. He's a blast. Don't let me scare you away from playing Kenshi. He's a lot of fun. He's just a bit more complex than even I expected going in trying to learn Kenshi. The thing to know about Sento is when he's out, he's not always out fighting. So if you get hit while Sento's out, he goes and kind of just kneels and he's like just like in chill mode and says, I won't fight. But once you get the next hit, then he's out ready to rock and roll. So he can't actually save you while you're getting comboed or anything like that. He's there as the aggressor when you're being aggressive. So just keep that in mind when using Sento. Kenshi's going to be a bit different than you might expect going into Mortal Kombat and trying to pick up this blind samurai ninja guy, but the payoff of hard and long training will be worth it. He's not for the faint of heart, but he's going to be an absolute unit on the field. Let me know down below what you think of Kenshi in Mortal Kombat 1. Are you going to main him? Are you not? Do you like him? Do you hate him? Let me know your thoughts down below. Make sure you take it one step at a time in your fighting game journey, and I will see you in the next one.